metrological traceability. In the laboratory world, accuracy is not a luxury, but a necessity. And to achieve that accuracy, it is essential that the measurements taken are reliable and linked to an established reference. This concept is what is known as metrological traceability, and ISO IEC 17025 sets out how laboratories should handle it to ensure the accuracy and validity of their results. Before learning about the requirements of this standard regarding metrological traceability, let's look at a concept that is fundamental in the world of metrology. The Pyramid of Traceability, a structure for understanding metrological accuracy. Metrological traceability is a key concept in the quality of measurements in a laboratory and can be visualized as a pyramid representing the different reference levels and their connection to the measurements performed in a laboratory. This pyramid helps to understand how a chain of trust is established from the most basic measurements to international standards. Let's see how this structure works. One, the top of the pyramid, the international system of units. At the top of the pyramid is the international system of units, which is the highest reference for all measurements. The international system of units provides the standard units of measurement, such as the meter for length, the kilogram for mass, and the second for time. These units are defined and maintained by international bodies, such as the Bureau International des Poids et Mesures, BIPM, and are the absolute references to which all measurements must be traced to be considered accurate and universally comparable. For example, when a laboratory measures the mass of a substance, the traceability of that measurement must be connected to the kilogram of the international system of units, which is the basic unit of mass. Two, the second level, national and international standards. Just below the international system of units in the pyramid are the national and international standards. These are the standards that each country maintains to ensure uniformity of measurements within its borders and are directly traced to the international system of units. For example, in many countries, national metrology institutes, such as the National Institute of Metrology, Quality and Technology in Brazil, or the National Institute of Standards and Technology in the United States, maintain national standards for units of measurement. These standards are calibrated against international system of unit standards and then used to calibrate other instruments and standards at the national level. Three, the third level, primary and secondary calibration laboratories. At the next level of the pyramid are the primary and secondary calibration laboratories. Primary laboratories usually have the capability to perform calibrations directly comparable to national standards. These laboratories calibrate instruments and reference materials that are then used in other laboratories. Secondary laboratories receive traceability through the primary laboratories. Although they do not calibrate directly against national standards, they follow a chain of traceability that allows them to ensure that their measurements are aligned with national and international standards. Four, the fourth level, commonly used laboratories and measuring equipment. At the base of the pyramid are the common laboratories and measurement equipment in daily use. These laboratories perform routine measurements and calibrations on equipment used for quality control, testing, and other analyses. Traceability at this level is ensured by calibrating the equipment used in these laboratories, which has been calibrated through the traceability chain that connects to the higher levels of the pyramid. For example, a laboratory that performs drinking water analysis may use a pH meter that has been calibrated with a secondary pH standard, which in turn was calibrated in a primary laboratory connected to national pH standards, and finally, these are traced back to the international system of units. Now that you know the traceability pyramid, it is time to understand what ISO IEC 17025 says about metrological traceability. Establishing Traceability, the Unbroken Chain of Confidence Metrological traceability refers to the ability to link measurement results to a known reference through a documented, unbroken chain of calibrations. 
Each step in this chain contributes to measurement uncertainty, but also reinforces confidence that the results are accurate, precise, and reproducible. Imagine you work in a laboratory that measures the concentration of contaminants in food. To ensure that the measurements you make are reliable, you must be able to trace those measurements back to a standard reference, such as a certified standard solution. This standard solution must have been calibrated in a laboratory that in turn has its metrological traceability ensured, thus creating a chain that guarantees that the value you report is reliable. Linking measurements to the international system of units. The standard emphasizes that measurement results must be traceable to the international system of units, which is the global standard for measurements. This traceability can be achieved in several ways. Calibration by a competent laboratory. If you use a thermometer in your measurements, it must be calibrated by a laboratory that has traceability to the international system of units. This means that you can be confident that the temperatures you measure are accurate and comparable to those measured in any other laboratory in the world. Certified values of reference materials. If you use certified reference materials, they must come from producers who can demonstrate that their values are traceable to the international system of units. For example, if you perform heavy metal analysis in food, the metal standards you use must have a certificate that demonstrates their traceability to international standards. Direct performance of units of the international system of units. In some cases, your laboratory can directly compare your measurements to national or international standards, ensuring accuracy by direct comparison to international system of unit standards. Alternative traceability, when the international system of units is not an option. There are situations where it is not possible to ensure metrological traceability to the international system of units, either because of technical limitations or because of the nature of the analysis. In these cases, the standard allows the laboratory to demonstrate traceability to an appropriate reference. Suppose you work in a laboratory that performs DNA analysis, a field where it is not always possible to link measurements directly to the international system of units. Here, you can demonstrate traceability by using certified reference materials or reference measurement procedures that are widely accepted and validated in the scientific community. For example, you could use a DNA reference material certified by a recognized producer, making sure that this material has been validated by appropriate comparisons and that the results obtained in your analyses are reliable. Conclusion Metrological traceability is a fundamental pillar of quality management in laboratories, ensuring that the measurements being made are not only accurate, but also reliable and globally comparable. The ISO IEC 17025 provides a clear framework for establishing and maintaining this traceability, either through the international system of units or through alternative references where necessary. For a laboratory, ensuring traceability is not just a matter of complying with a standard, but of building a chain of trust to support every result that is generated. At the end of the day, this traceability is what allows laboratories to demonstrate the accuracy and reliability of their work, protecting both the integrity of results and customer confidence.